Well, the most important part is tonight's event is honoring longtime race enthusiast Dale Baldwin, who passed away suddenly on July 3rd, 2020, at the ripe age of 94. Dale loved auto racing. He attended all races all over the United States and Western United States for over 50 years with his family. Dale sponsored his son, Mark Baldwin race car for many years, and he was extremely proud of the success they had racing at many venues around the West Coast. This event will also remember North State Modified driver Steve Taylor of Cloverdale, who the day before he died raced with the North State Modified Series in Eureka. One year ago during the main event, Taylor got a tiny tear in his aorta, was unable to the race and he unfortunately died the next day. According to his wife Sage, he was surrounded by close friends and family and had perhaps the best weekend of his life. And lastly, we want to remember Dave McMurray, tonight's sponsor, McMurray and Sons Roofing. We are going to have a parade lap with all the modified drivers carrying American flags during the national anthem tonight. We will honor all three of these good men who very much love their country and our sport. So if you could please rise and remove your cover while the cars come out to perform the national anthem. Send those beautiful modifieds out. After the parade lap, we will be releasing all of these balloons in honor of Steve Taylor. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the Twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the brave
as they come down the front straightaway. How about we give a huge round of applause for the North State Modified Series and to Godspeed, Dale Baldwin, Steve Taylor, and of course, Dave McMurray. Here we go, let them hear you. Big round of applause, North State Modified Series. And ladies and gentlemen, someone would like to speak to you tonight. We have Sage Taylor here to talk to you. Steve Taylor's wife from the North State Modified Series. Hi, everybody. Turn it up, Aaron. Hi, everybody. Can you hear me? Hello, everybody. It's on. Can you? Hello, hello. Hello, hello. You gotta just hold it really close. The announcer last night messed up my system. Yeah, I got it cranked all the way up. Are they gonna cut the engine? All right, once again, let me introduce to you to Steve Taylor's wife, Sage, who have a few words to say in honor of Steve Taylor. Hi, everybody. Thank you all for coming out. My name is Sage, and I was the lucky woman who stood beside Steve Taylor for over 30 years. Um, last year, he came to race. It was on his bucket list to race at this track because he heard it was fast, and I was in a bomber last night, and it's fast. During the race, uh, he suffered an aortic tear, and it was tiny and presented itself like carbon monoxide poisoning. So we just let him rest and recover. We came home the next day, and sadly, he died that evening. I embarked on a mission immediately to finish everything that good man started, and I didn't know how I was ever going to finish this race until I talked to Cole Brown, his protege, someone who'd worked with for a little over 10 years as a young up-and-coming racer. I asked Cole if he would be willing to race in Steve's place to finish this race tonight. So when you look out there at these modifieds and you see that winged five on that car, that's a young man who's taken on a monumental mission on this planet. So give him a big old hoot, Nanny because he's a special boy. Thank you so much for supporting our family. I think that the one thing that most of us who knew Steve the best could tell you is that what he would want for all of us is to live honorably and joyfully. So I want to just thank you so much for coming out here tonight and enjoying this sport he loves so much and for supporting young Cole Brown, who's here in his place this evening. We thank you all. Thank you. All right, now is the time. Who's ready for some racing action tonight? That's right, we're gonna get it started here in just a couple minutes. Once they clear that infield, we're gonna get started tonight with the first Bombers heat race tonight. <laughs> 